it's April and welcome to my toy world. Today I'm going to be opening up a huge selection of the Basher Science collectible figures and card games. I have the entire chemistry collection, the entire rock and mineral collection, and the entire biology collection here to open up today. I'm super excited about these. I absolutely love Basher Science products. I collected their very first book a long, long time ago when my kids were little and they had the Periodic Table of Elements book, which was so cute. I actually have so many of the books for the Basher Science books. I think that they are the cutest, funnest way to learn about science, as well as a whole bunch of other subjects. So I got out all of my books for the Chemistry, Rock and Mineral, and Biology collections. So you can see what the books look like that kind of go along with these. This is the Chemistry book. You can see the adorable pictures that are just like the figures in these sets. You can see how vibrant they are. It kind of discusses some of these different concepts in the different categories. So this is the Chemistry book, which goes along nicely with this Chemistry set of toys here. And then here's the Rocks and Minerals book, a gem of a book it says, which helps you learn about different rocks and minerals. Again, absolutely super cute illustrations. I love the artistic depictions of the different um, elements and rocks and minerals and things like that in all of these books. I just think that they are so, so cute. And then lastly here is the biology book, Life as We Know It, and you can see all the little figures here, very similar to the figures in these sets, which we'll be able to see in just a second when we get into opening up all these packages. So you can see here's the fungus, which is just like the little fungus figure. Ooh, the flowering plants one's really pretty. That would have made a neat figure as well. And just a bunch of different concepts in biology. So those are the books, and I just thought it was absolutely wonderful when I came across these in Target and saw that they were coming out with a card game along with collectible little figures, which to me is just so, so exciting. I absolutely love learning about science. It's one of my favorite subjects, and to put it along with these fun toys and figures is just super exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and open each set one at a time. We'll start with the chemistry one, and we'll check out all the little figures as well as the cards. So let's take a quick look at the different packs here. This is, again, Series 1 which is going to be so exciting when they come out with more series. You can see it's like a little test tube shape here with these cute little figures. Each one of these figures represents something different in chemistry. It also comes with this cute little thing here. I don't know if that's to hold a character or not. It might be. And then this one comes with six game cards. This comes with a gas, a solid, and a liquid. And you can see on the back here a bunch of different ones to collect. You can see the rocks and mineral category, biology category, and chemistry category. This says here that it is from the makers of Uno. I love the game Uno, so that's really exciting. It says that there's two games in one. You can play a card battling game or you can play a matching game and they all have science facts on it. So that is really, really cool. Um, I also recently saw a picture, I think it must be of season two, that they are coming out with an astronomy set. So things all about outer space, which I'm super excited to see in person. So this is uh, this first set here. This comes with three figures. And here's the second three figure pack here. You can see all the different elements here. This one comes with an ion, an atom, and a molecule, and six more cards. And then you can also buy them in little individual um, packages that come with one figure and two cards. And this is the base. And this one is a test tube here, which I think is so cute. And I'll get these all out of the pack in just a second here. This one is an acid. And this one is a thermometer. All things that you would use for studying chemistry. And then here is the chemistry card game. It comes with one figure here. This one is the liquid. You can see the cards here. And I'll go ahead and open up all of the stuff from the chemistry set so we can take a close-up look at each one. Okay, so I have the card game and all the figures opened up for the chemistry category. And this is the game here. It says it's a card game with two games in one. Comes with what look like two little marker coins here, as well as a water figure, or a liquid figure, I should say. And then here are the cards underneath the instruction packet. And let's take a quick look at some of the cards here. You can see it says element, and boiling point, and melting point, and catalyst. And it includes the definition of all these, and it looks like it comes with two of each card. Catalyst is something that makes a reaction go faster. A giant molecule, um, an activation energy that kickstarts chemical reactions. This is uh, talking about a chemical reaction. And a polymer. Polymers are pretty cool. They help us make plastics and things like slime. 
um, Smart Materials, and the Periodic Table, and pH, and then here is a little thing here. I think this is the thing that you would use little markers on to keep track of your game. So that's pretty cool. So those are the cards for the card game. And again, you can use it as a matching game or a battle game. Each card has a number value, the character name, a science fact, and a power. It says here you get four plus four on the next round. And then the short game includes a score card where you only need four points to win. And the long game score, you need six points to win. So that's pretty cool. That's one of the games there from Matching Game. And here is the big collector's guide here. And these are all of the figures that you can collect for the chemistry collection. A little carrying case here, the ion, the gas, the atom, the molecule, the thermometer, the base, the acid, the test tube, the liquid, and the solid. And I have all of those figures open up right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So each figure comes with its own card. So this one is called a base, and it says it is a basic chemical, a bad guy with a high pH. And then this one is a little test tube. I think that these figures are so unique and totally adorable and fun. This is a test tube. It says I'm used to mix and store substances. This one is an acid, and an acid is a chemical nasty with a low pH. And then this one here is a thermometer figure, and the thermometer is ha it has either mercury or alcohol which climbs up the stem and tells you the temperature. This figure here is the liquid. It says, I take the shape of any container I am poured into. And here's one of the carrying cases here. We could put him inside this carrying case if we want to, just like so. Then you can just snap him in there if you wanted to carry him along like on your backpack or something. And this one is the solid. It says, I'm the lowest energy state of matter. And this one here is the gas figure. It says, I am the state of matter with the highest amount of energy. I think that's a cute one. He looks like a cloud there. And then this one here is an atom. It says, my nucleus is packed with protons and neutrons. So he's cute. I like that he's pink. And then we have here a molecule, and this says that he is made up of more than one atom. And then the last chemistry figure here is an ion. He looks like a little magician there. I think that's cute. It says, I help metals and non-metals connect. So that is an ion. So those are all of the figures from the chemistry collection. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at all of the ones from the rocks and minerals collection here. So here's one of the rocks and minerals packages, one of the single packs. I also have two, three packs, and a card pack. And here are all the ones that you can collect in the rocks and minerals. So I'm going to go ahead now and open up all of the rocks and minerals collections so we can see each of these figures up close. Okay, so now I have all the rocks and minerals figures opened up. This is the card game here. And this one comes with pyrite, this little figure here, which is so cute. Pyrite is also called fool's gold. That's why he's wearing like a jester's cap, which I think is a really cute thing. So that's that figure that came with this game. And this also comes with two markers and a bunch of cards we can look through real quick. This is diorite and tough and slate and marble. These are all types of rocks and minerals. And this is sulfur and arsenic and jade, which is a pretty rock, and topaz and flint and serpentine. That's also a kind of a rock. It says it's mostly found in highly altered metamorphic zones. That's cool. And feldspar and then here are some of the markers to play the game. So those are the cards from the card game box. And again, that card game came with pyrite, the figure pyrite. But it didn't come with a pyrite card, so I'll have to hunt down another pyrite pack so I can get the pyrite card too. And then I've opened up all the little individual packs. This one here is Magnetite, and this one took me so long to find all of the stores. By the way, I found these all at Target. I found these at Target in the games, the board game section. So um, that's where these were, and I had such a hard time finding Magnetite. It took me like almost a month to hunt one of these um, figures down. Finally, it was restocked at my Target, and I was able to find it. So I was super excited to finally finish my collection here. So Magnetite. And this one is diamond. That's a cool looking figure there. And this one is gold, a cute little gold figure. And this one is obsidian. And I think this is supposed to look like a spear because the tips of spears were often made of obsidian. It's a really sharp rock. And then this is granite. 
and this one is Basalt. That's a cool looking one. And this is Evaporite. That's a neat one. This one is Clay. It looks like a lump of clay. I think it's so neat that all these cards give little facts about them too. And then the last one in this collection here is Sandstone. So it looks like a little sand castle piece there, so sandstone. So again, it came with instructions for how to play. You can either match them and use the little coins to keep track, or you can do a battle game. So it has all the instructions here, and there's how you keep track. And then this is the collector's guide again. We have all the chemistry ones, and now we have all the rock and mineral ones. Also, it came with these little cute carrying cases. This one looks kind of like a giant uh, gemstone here since it's the rock and mineral collection. And again, it comes with evaporite, obsidian, clay, sandstone, gold, diamond, pyrite, magnetite, basalt, and granite. And then our last category is the biology category. And you can see the cool carrying case for this one. I'm excited to open that up. And we will see all of these figures next. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the rest of my figures, all of the biology set. Let's take a quick look at the container here of one of these small um, biology figures here. Again, each of the small individual ones come with two cards and a figure. And then there are three packs and a card pack. And the ones you can collect in the biology category are skeleton, eye, heart, bacteria, virus, DNA, cell, mitochondria, fungus, and pollen. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open up all of the biology figures and I'll be right back to show you what these look like. Okay, so here are the cards that come with the biology game. This is the nervous system, the lungs, the intestines, the red blood cell, the T cell, seedless plants, flowering plants, protists, and mammals, and reptiles, and invertebrates. And then here are the marker cards. And these are the figures. This one is the skeleton figure. This one is the DNA figure. This one is the eye figure. I think that the eyelashes are so cute. And this is the heart figure. And this is the little bacteria figure. I think he's a pretty fun one. And this is the virus figure. It says it's the smallest living thing that there is. That's pretty neat. And then this is a cell and mitochondria. And this one is one of my favorites because I just love mushrooms. I think they're so cute. This one is called fungus. It says, I help make your bread and cheese. And it looks like a cute little mushroom. And then the last figure here is pollen. It looks like a little spiky ball of pollen there holding some flowers. It says, I'm carried from flower to flower by bees and other insects. So those are really cute figures. These are the little carrying cases that come with the biology collection. They almost look like a little cell or something. So that is so fun. I absolutely love these. I think that they are just great. Let's take a quick look at the collector's chart to see all of the figures one last time in the biology category. So the skeleton, the DNA, the eye, the heart, the bacteria, the virus, the cell, the mitochondria, the fungus, and the pollen. So now we have all of the chemistry set, all of the biology set, and all of the rocks and minerals set. So that is the whole collection so far of the Series 1 Basher Science figures to go along with the card games as well as the books here. We have the chemistry collection here. You can see all of the card games and the absolutely adorable figures to go along with those. And then we have the rocks and mineral category here, the book and the card game as well as all of the adorable rock and mineral little figures. And then the biology category. Here's the book here and the card game and all of the adorable little biology figures. I just think that these are so fun and such an incredibly fun way to learn about science, chemistry, rocks and minerals, and biology. Definitely so, so fun. And also really, really so cute to collect as well. So I'm really impressed with these Basher Science figures and card games. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at all three of these sets. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe for more videos from April's Toy World. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye!